All right, so you cook your bacon, right? You get it to your desired crispiness. Let's pull it off. Put it on the paper towels. Now what I'm gonna do is I wanna save this grease. I like to keep it in a mason jar. But what I do is you see, let's turn the heat off. You see all these little bits and stuff. We don't want that in our we don't want that in our bacon grease. So what I what I like to do is I take a coffee filter. Take a coffee filter, stick it in, like so, fold it over. Now you can, if you're careful, you can be good there. I also like to take a canning funnel and stick it in there. Just to make sure that that doesn't fall in there. Now I'm gonna pour this hot grease into here. What you'll see now is, is the bacon grease dripping through the filter and we're getting just pure grease then, pure fat. And as you can see, it's leaving all the little crusty bits in the filter. Now these crusty bits are what will cause your grease to go rancid. Um, you've heard that before. Um, you know, grandma used to have a can sitting off the side, but if she didn't use it right away, she had to get rid of it because it smelled bad. That's why she didn't strain it. Um, this this way I found that I can leave it sit out here and use it, no problems. And, and just keep adding to it when I get low. Now as you can see, it's starting to slow down a bit in the uh, dripping. And what's happening is that grease is starting to cool off a little bit. So as your, as your grease um, starts to cool down, it'll get thicker uh, to go through here. And we can actually pull this out and you can see what's going on so your particulates are what's clogging up the filter which is what we want so by squeezing on it we're adding a little bit of pressure forcing it through. Now a neat little trick that I like to do is I take this, uh, this is like a candy mold for those uh, melted candies, melted chocolates. Um, I've got it on that small little tray. Um, that way I can slide it in and out of the freezer really good. Now what I'll do is I like to take my grease, and it's probably going to be hot, take a tablespoon. I usually just kind of eyeball it but take you a tablespoon fill it up so you know three quarters of one of those is a tablespoon so then what I'll do is I'll just fill it up I'll just pour into there And there we go. And then these will go into the freezer. Now, if you were not gonna pour those into the 
ice cube tray and you still had your level up here what I do is I like to put my lid on the jar and leave it kind of cocked like that that'll keep stuff from getting in it and allow air and heat to escape and um, then once this cools down a couple hours then come back and tighten it up and then leave it sit on your counter by your stove and you're ready to go anytime it calls for butter or you're ready to start cooking some sauteing some vegetables just take a spoon dip in good to go okay so it's been several hours since we put our baking grease in the tray and put it in the freezer so this is what we got this is the one we measured these are the ones we kind of guesstimated so what will happen is we'll flip them over and what I like about these silicone ones is you just pop them out just like as I struggle a little bit to keep it in frame so they just pop right out what I'm left with is little skull baking grease cubes so then when it goes time I'll put these in a freezer bag and I'll keep them in the freezer and then when I'm doing a recipe that calls for uh, you know a tablespoon of butter or whatever or if I'm just sauteing some vegetables I'll throw one of these in the bottom of my pan and get going you know this is a great starter you already paying for the bacon so why not use the grease in more than one way